holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed trinity hey guys happy sunday um how many of you know that song do you know that hymn holy 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 yeah we love that song in our house it's such a great hymn it's a little bit of a hint of kind of what we're going to be talking about today um so um Quick update, guys. Hang on for the grown-ups and the adults. <laughs> Miss Chrissy's going to keep doing uh, lessons for you guys, but instead of doing it from um, our like the curriculum that we've been using, I'm just going to do lessons for a little while on what all the adults are hearing uh, from Pastor Brian, like what he's preaching about. So whatever he's preaching about on Sunday, I'm going to do a little mini lesson uh, for the kiddos based on that. That way we're all on the same page and we're all doing the same thing. So for a little while here, we're doing the Lord's Prayer. Um, we're going to work our way through that. So whatever Brian's talking about, that's what I'm going to do for the kids. So guys, uh, kids, does everybody have their Bibles? If you have your Bibles, go get your Bibles. We're going to be in Matthew chapter 6 again, verses 9 through 13. That's the whole Lord's Prayer. Today we're focusing on verse 9, the second part, 9b. Um, so that's, it's very short, like the part that we're focusing on. Um, and that's where, where to find it. So if you want to get your Bibles, go do that. And let's pray and we'll get into our lesson. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. God, thank you so much for this lesson, for these kids here today. We are going to learn about how you're holy. Thank you so much for your holiness, how amazing you are. We love you, God. Amen. So today, we're going to focus on the very first part when Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. He said, pray like this, our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Um, now, some, some uh, Bibles translate hallowed be your name. Has anybody ever heard that word, hallowed? That's kind of a kind of a funny sounding word. We don't say it very often, but it's just another way to say holy. Some, some people say, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. When we pray with our kids, we say, our Father in heaven, holy is your name. So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. What does it mean when we say holy is your name? What does it mean that God's name is holy? Now, I want you to think about what the word holy means. Some of you might know it now. If you trust in Jesus and you've heard that word before, you might, when you hear the word holy, you think about God, right? But if you just heard the word and you weren't thinking about the Bible or anything and you heard the word holy, what would it make you think of? Well, I was thinking sometimes if you get surprised or you see something really cool, you go, holy cow, <laughs> right? Or holy smokes. Sometimes we, we say those things. It doesn't mean, you know, that God is holy. It's not that kind of holy, but we say that. Holy cow! Um, sometimes. And sometimes, um, I think if you heard that word and you weren't thinking about God, and you heard the word holy, you might think about something like this. What's in this paper towel? A bunch of holes, right? <laughs> It's a holy paper towel because it's full of holes. Um, not holy like God, but holy meaning there's lots of holes in it. Or, um, so yeah, that's something you might think of when you think of the word holy, right? Holy cow or something with lots of holes in it. But that's not what we're talking about today. When we talk about how God is holy, holy means perfect and set apart and above all else. Um, and so, okay, when I wanted to go back a little bit to a verse, a part of um, Exodus, in Exodus 3, if anybody remembers the story about Moses and the Israelites and Pharaoh, right? Pharaoh's the bad guy. He has the Israelites enslaved. The Israelites want to be free, and God's going to free his people, and he chooses Moses to be the leader to do it. Now, 
when Moses is talking with God, which is incredible in and of itself, Moses asks God, if I go to the Israelites and I say to them, this is in Exodus 3, verse 13 and 14. Um, if I, Moses says to God, if I go down and I say, uh, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say, what is his name? Then what should I say to them? So Moses is basically saying, what's your name? <laughs> what do I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you're to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. I thought that would be a really cool thing. We're kind of memorizing the Lord's Prayer as we go through. That would be a great thing for you to memorize and have hidden in your heart in Scripture. But this is another good one, too, because this is really important. In Exodus 3.14, God tells Moses, My name is I am who I am. Tell them I am sent, sent you. Now that is incredible because when God said that to Moses, there is not a name in the whole world or the universe like God's name that is as amazing and wonderful and holy as God's name. Remember, holy means perfect, set apart above all else. For God to say, I am who I am, there's no other name like that. There's nothing else like that. God is holy, perfect, set apart above all else. So when we pray, our Father in heaven, holy is your name, we're remembering and saying, wow, God, you are perfect. And above all else, you are amazing. And you know what's really cool? Let me backtrack a little bit. We have something in common, all of us, right? When we're born, we're given a name. We have a first name and a last name. Sometimes we have a middle name. Um, my name's Miss Chrissy. Does anybody know my last name? Who knows my whole name? Anybody? Some of you do. It's Chrissy Kozlowski. Um, and I married Mr. Steve Kozlowski. And then we had six kids. God gave us six kids. And we are the Kozlowski family. And when our kids go off to school and go out in the world, they represent our family, the Kozlowski family. People know us. We're kind of crazy. But people know us. They know the Kozlowskis. They, they're, you're our kids and we are known by our family name. Now guess what's so cool? When God saves you and you trust in Jesus, right? We've talked about this before. Jesus is our good king and God is our father. We talked about that last week even when we say our father in heaven. God is our father, our good, good father. We, we talked about this too, when God is our father, when he saves us, we're adopted into his family as his children. So we're his children, he's our father, and we are part of his family. Now, I don't know about you, but to think that we're part of a family and we bear, we represent God, we have his name, not in our, you know, it's not Chrissy God, because not like God isn't in your name, but when you're God's child, you're in his family. You're part of his family. You represent and you bear his name, which means like when you go out into the world um, and somebody notices that you're loving or kind or patient and you tell them, yes, it's because I am God's child. It's because I trust in Jesus and I want to love you and I want to be patient. Um, people can see um, what God kind of they can understand more about God and see who he is in you. You have this very big, important job to represent God's name in the world. Um, and I think that that is just so amazing. You have this important job when you're part of God's family, you bear his name, his holy, holy, perfect name. Are we holy and perfect? No way, <laughs> but God is. And when he saves us and we trust in Jesus, he makes us holy like he's holy and we bear his name. So when we go out in the world, people can see God uh, through us and in us. And I think it'd be really neat um, for us to say, you know what, as God's child, as a child of God, if God is my father and Jesus is my king and the Holy Spirit lives in me, I'm going to go into the world and I'm going to honor God's name, his holy and perfect name in the world um, and wherever God puts me. So um, that would be a great thing for you to think about 
this week that when you're, um, we're not yet at school yet, <laughs> but when we're out in the world, we're at the park, we're at the store, everywhere we represent God and we need to um, love people and be patient and tell others about him. Um, and just remember this week as we pray, our Father in heaven, holy is your name. We can think about what it means what it means that God is holy and what it means that we get to, what an honor it is that we get to um, be part of his family if we trust in Jesus. And then we get to represent him in the world and bear that name in the world. What a great honor it is. So as God's children, let's go out into the world and honor his name in the world, his holy and wonderful name. All right, friends, I'll see you again next week. Great job paying attention. All right, bye.